The Parrot is back, Bob, and it only took two rehab games, eight at-bats for Edwin Encarnacion to say he is healthy and he is ready to go. When I spoke to him in the clubhouse the other day, he said he feels no pain in his wrist, that the fracture is in fact healed, and Aaron Boone didn't waste any time penciling him into the lineup tonight. He will bat fifth and serve as the DH. I think you guys know how I feel about him and what he just the dimension he brings to our lineup. Um, so excited to have him back. I know he's been feeling good now for a while and, you know, to get a couple of a couple of days of at bats, um, excited to have him right back in the middle of our order. Will there be any restrictions on him in coming back? How will you kind of manage him as he first gets going? Uh, not really. I mean, you know, you know, one of the things I talked to him today about was, you know, we'll just kind of talk through it every day, um, to see how he's doing, um, you know, continue to get you know, mix in some first base reps. Um, you know, I'm sure there'll be a day or two on the road, but um, I'm not looking at it as a whole lot of restrictions. I know he feels good and feels strong, so we'll uh, we'll watch it closely, like we we are, especially with some of our other guys that are coming back. But feel like he's good to go. The numbers speak for themselves as far as this season and his career. But in your mind, what makes him such a dangerous hitter in that lineup? <clears throat> um. Obviously, the power is tremendous, but but I think the at bats, even when he doesn't get a hit, you know, it's you know the pitcher has to work, and and it feels like when they get done with him, um, it's a lot. It's a heavy at bat for an opposing pitcher to go through, and um, you know that's what we've seen since we've gotten him, and and I think when we've kind of been whole, he's just been that guy that's kind of just added to the wholeness of our lineup that that at its best does a really good job of wearing you down there is no doubt he is a guy that does damage in the batter's box he has 30 home runs so far this season nine with the yankees as far as the lineup is concerned there are a couple other notes mike talkman is back in left field brett gardner in center and aaron judge is in right also glaber torres has the evening off so you'll see tyler wade in there at second base Dellen Betances was putting in work at the stadium earlier today, throwing to hitters. He said afterwards in the clubhouse that this is probably the best he has felt in the rehab process. He threw 22 pitches, both fastballs and breaking balls, and reiterated that he was just pleased with the way the ball was coming out of his hand. He went on to say, based on the way he felt during that session, he believes his stuff is sharp enough and good enough right now to get big league hitters out. Aaron Boone was also extremely encouraged by what he saw. I thought he looked really good. It was really exciting today um, to see him throw the ball the way he did. You know, I thought the command was good. The stuff looked good. You know, I, I stood in behind him. Um, I know he's really encouraged by it. Um, so hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll see how he bounces back tomorrow. If everything goes well, then then he could be out pitching maybe with Seve this weekend and, and go from there. But today was a good step for him, no doubt. Have you guys put a radar gun on him? Do you have any indication of where he's throwing right now? I don't know what he was throwing today, but we've had a gun on him. Um, <clears throat> actually, we don't put that much stock, even the spring, um, because in the past he's always been a guy that in spring – it's it doesn't resemble what it is once he really gets going so more you know how free and easy is he is he throwing is he repeating his mechanics really well and you know today was in my eyes a big a, another big step forward for him